Yeah. Mr. Excuse me, Mr. Baron, please. Presidente, yo me he levantado para pedirle que usted, como presidente, protegiera los derechos de los diputados y, en particular, el honor del señor Schultz. Eh, usted ha hecho una propuesta. <risa> usted, usted ha hecho una propuesta. Yo creo que, además de dar la palabra al señor Schultz, yo le pediría que rogara al señor Berlusconi, al presidente del Consejo, que retirara esas palabras en honor a los valores, a los valores que compartimos todos los europeos. Gracias. On, on this matter, perhaps then be, perhaps best now that we should deal with it directly, and I don't want to open up a whole debate. There's a considerable, a considerable emotion in the House about this. It is very clear that a member is entitled to make a contribution in the debate and to have it responded to with some serenity. In, in this case, uh, I know in the vigour and flow of his response, uh, Mr. Berlusconi uh, perhaps uh, allowed himself to, to go beyond the ordinary rules of engagement in this matter. I will first hear Mr. Schultz. I will first hear Mr. Schultz, who is entitled to speak, and then, then I shall return to the President in office if he wishes to respond. And finally, to close with Romano Prodi. Mr. Schultz, please, you have the floor, a maximum of three minutes under the rules. Thank you. Herr Präsident, vielen Dank, dass Sie mir das Wort geben. Ich brauche keine drei Minuten. Ich will das ganz kurz machen. Herr Berlusconi hat in seinen Ausführungen Folgendes gesagt, wenn die Interpretation richtig, die Übersetzung richtig war. In Italien wird zurzeit von einem Regisseur ein Film über die Konzentrationslager gedreht und er lädt mich ein, die Rolle des Capo, also des SS-Schergen, zu übernehmen. Ich sage Ihnen nur eines dazu. Mein Respekt vor den Opfern des Faschismus verbietet mir, darauf auch nur mit einem Wort einzugehen. Aber mir ist klar geworden, dass es schwierig ist zu akzeptieren, dass ein Ratspräsident, der sein Amt ausübt, wenn er mit der geringsten widersprüchlichen Debatte konfrontiert wird, seine Kontenance in dieser Form verliert. Chi non è stato qui a sentire l'intervento del signor Schulz, che mi ha offeso gravemente sul piano personale e gesticolando e con un tono di voce che quello sì non è ammissibile in un Parlamento come questo. E quindi io sono, io ho detto con ironia quello che ho detto. Se, il, se non siete in grado di capire l'ironia, mi spiace, e, e co, ma non ritiro. Non ritiro quanto con ironia ho detto se il signor Schulz non ritira le offese personali che mi ha rivolto. Io l'ho detto con ironia, lui l'ha fatto con cattiveria. I, I, I'm sorry, I... I, colleagues, colleagues, 
Colleagues. Colleagues. I, there, there are many colleagues. Please, can we have some calm? There are many colleagues here wishing to make points of order and interventions. We are running very late. I will not take those points. I wish to say as President of the House that I personally regret the tone which the latter part of this morning has taken. I think it is unfortunate. It is a distraction from the European business we have in hand. It is regrettable. That brings our debate to a close. Again, I know many colleagues wish to speak. We've run over by a considerable length today. I want, before closing this session and handing over to one of the Vice Presidents to lead our vote, to say personally that I regret the offence caused to our respected member and colleague, Mr. Schulz. <laughs> Quello che aveva fatto intendere a Strasburgo in tema di libertà di espressione, in realtà lo aveva già fatto in Italia.